Everyone knows that. All right, so Cyborg has actually, unlike Aquaman, Aquaman was really, really good before, so he kind of plays similar. Cyborg has gone through a ton of changes. He is still a zoning powerhouse. He's still projectile-based, but we've given him a few tricks. Number one, he has a new combo. This is 2-3, and it'll knock you far away. It's a very fast mid, and it's actually neutral on block, so it's totally safe. Meaning, to those who don't know, neutral on block means you kind of just... Cyborg and Robin will both be able to attack at the same time. Like, Cyborg is not just sitting there right. open for an attack. It's So it's so a if, very if, quick if recovery, essentially. If it's blocked, he's still fine. He's fine, and the opponent's fine, and you're just kind you're, of... You're neutral. friends. You're literally new There's no friends in combat. You're true. You're right about that. I'm sorry. So Cyborg up close was never really that powerful, and this is just a fun little tool that you can use. Right. He also has new angle. His fireballs are back, but he can now do an upwards one. And he can hold it just like the other one. He can meter burn it, and he'll do two. And his air fireball's back, and he actually has an air downwards fireball. And again, he can meter burn it. So Cyborg was a character that really kept you out and just shipped you out and didn't let you come in and preyed on your mistakes, and now he has even more options. Okay. And you can cancel out of this, keep the opponent guessing, you can hold it, let it go. You can hold that? You can... Robin has to hold that. Yep. Another change to boost his offense a little is he has his power fist. In the original, it, the meter burn just knocked you down. It is now actually combo star. So that improves his combo ability. <laughs> That's a combo. Yeah. And his techno tackles back. That's now an uh, invisible wake-up attack, so if he's getting, you know, when the opponent finally does get in and they get their offense going, that's an invincible move that he can use to try to get out of trouble. And his missiles are back. They now hit mid, and he can still do close, medium, or far. And his vacuum's back, which he can do in the air, and he can charge it. And that's just a safe move that you can cancel into, and it'll push the opponent away, and then you can go back to your fireballs. Got it. So the biggest change, though, is to his character power. It's been completely redone. The heal is gone, mm -hmm. and he now uses Mother Box technology. So he has multiple versions. He can put it out, and then this drone will fly. And the neat thing is, he can actually fully move once he releases it. So he can do this, and then while it's out, he could be shooting fireballs, and the whole screen is covered. Yep. He can also do a little Roomba floor drone, which is a slow moving drone that'll go across the screen, it hits, it pops up. So you could do strategies like zoning, zoning, you put the Roomba out, and then you can actually advance. You can go in and the opponent has to block that. They have to be looking out for that. He plays his game, and if they're not paying attention, they're going to get launched. And he's okay. free to do all of his attacks. There is quite a long cooldown, but they're very, very powerful. They do not go away on hit. They pop the opponent up. They absolutely control the screen. It really enhances his screen control, which he was already really good at. Let's say you're really close to Robin. You're really close to Robin. And you don't want to be there anymore. And you don't want to be there anymore. How do you get out? You use grapple, which there I forgot go. about. So thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. His grapple is back. I like how to, I had to give it to you in, in Riddle. Like, how would you do that? He also that? has a new throw, which I like using his grapple. Oh, yeah, awesome. So you want to show super? Yeah. My favorite part is how he destroys the Parademon with the beam, if yeah. you look closely. So essentially, in a nutshell, it's the same cyborg from part one, but he's a little bit better up close, mm -hmm. a little better combos, a couple new strings, and he's even better from afar. So basically, we took a character that had one area that excelled in, expanded a little bit, and made him excel even further in that, so he's in a really good place in this game. I think cyborg fans are going to be really happy. Awesome. Um, shall we show some loadouts? How about some loadouts? Let's do it. I saw your loadouts that you chose earlier, and the color, your the color colorings. schemes are pretty good. I like it. Oof. All right, so for this one, I wanted to go with mobility. Maybe you're playing a match where cyborg zoning is just not that effective, and you actually want to get it. Or maybe you just like playing YOLO cyborg with the new combo opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. So I gave him a mobility one. The first one is an air charge. You will actually, in the air at any time, you can do it. You'll go in. And this has a really neat meter burn, because this move is unsafe. And it's kind of high risk, low reward, but you can make it safe by meter burning it by actually grappling forward, or you can choose to grapple away. 
So that's just another move you can use to enhance his air mobility. And then another big, big one is he gets a boom tube teleport. It is super fast, really good recovery. So, you know, you could even use his drone and then teleport in. They have to block the drone. He goes for his throw mix-ups. Right. And he can do this back or from next to the opponent. So this completely changes the way Cyborg plays. So now this is a, mo a very mobile yeah, Cyborg. very, very mobile Cyborg. And he retains, you know, all of his projectile special moves. So now he can get in and he can keep the opponent out. Gotcha. One more loadout. Ooh. That's cool. Now this ability I gave, I, I really, really love. This is an absolute game changer. This actually replaces his character power with full on armor. Now, if you were familiar with Lex Luthor in the original Injustice, it's very similar. Once he puts this on, he can charge it up to three levels and then he walks around and while he's glowing, he has armor and he is free to do any of his moves. And if, if he absorbs an attack, he can just recover and then start going in. So that's incredibly effective. So let's say you're fighting another zoner. You know, he can turn this on, and he can afford to take trades. Mm. He can go get his zoning going, get the life lead. You can see his projectiles do a lot of damage. Or let's say it's a matchup where he can't really, uh, he can't really zone and he has to go in. You can put this in, then go in, and there's all kind of crazy strategies. You can intentionally take hits and then punish the recovery. Some moves that are punishable will now be safe because of the armor. And it all depends on how long you charge it. And you can actually dash out of it if you just want to real quick go to level one. Cool. So this is an enormously powerful character ability. The trade-off, of course, is you do lose the mother box powers. Right. But they're also powerful. He has several more that we're not gonna we're gonna save for uh next week that I can't wait. Save for another day. Another day.